look really cool, man. They yeah. look so much. They look so much better than up there, bro. Yeah. So cool. Last Christmas, Amy's dad gave me a book about uh, garden restoration in the UK. And there were pictures of a beautiful yew tunnel uh, that was uh, very, it was basically a hedge of very old yew trees that were arching over a path. And it made, the, it created the tunnel and you could see through and have um, the, just a little view of what was at the end of the tunnel. And when I saw that in the book, uh, it gave me the idea to recreate it using the trees we just dug out. So this part of the garden will be eventually an exotic garden, a uh, sunken garden, because it's, uh, it's uh, closed in with walls on three sides, which means it's really sheltered from the wind. It's south facing, so it has a really warm microclimate and I want to grow all sorts of uh, exotic plants and make it quite a lush, very special place. And it connects to the, um, the, the old fortification wall that surrounds all the terraced garden. And my idea was to use this use to create a tunnel just at the end of this path leading to the sunken garden. I run and get the spade to, to do this side. Yeah, it could be her, uh, it could be useful because the I can't see what I'm doing because no, I'll, of uh, the... I'll run up there now. Yeah, okay. I'll bring the straps. Okay, yeah. thanks. I'll dig the next hole. Yeah, cool. I think, oh. I think they're going to look cool here. Yeah, um, I think it will work, yes. yeah. I might be able to take them two by two. Okay.
Mark, I finished with the space. Yeah, if you okay. Want. I'll put a bit of soil on the other side. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'll finish it with a spade, Mark. Yeah. Okay. Many, so we have two left. Cool. Um, might need another one here. What do you think? Yeah, I think so. They look really cool, man. They yeah, look so much. They look so much better than up there, bro. Yeah. So cool. We can. The thing is really that they will become bigger eventually. So I'm ah, just okay, wondering yeah. whether to. Okay. I leave it then, Mark. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think maybe one here to block the, cool. to yeah, make yeah, a, yeah, yeah. like a turn. Definitely, Mark. Definitely. Yeah, so one here. Yeah. And I might put the other one a bit further. All, okay. uh, so they're all on, uh, on the along side. the path. Yeah, cool. same side. And then as we, as they grow, they'll curve, uh, okay. they'll curve above the path. I think they didn't, I, I really like them now. Yeah, it's, uh, I think it's, uh, it really it's works. It's funny, isn't it? Yeah. Up there I couldn't yeah. stand them and now I like them. That's so funny. Yeah. yeah, cool, Mark. And also, as they grow wild and they are not uh, cone-shaped anymore, they yeah. will look better and better. Yeah. I um, like them. I think they look good. Yeah. We might need to put some micro-drip irrigation for the summer, yeah. uh, so they to give them a good boost.
What do you think? That's amazing. Much better, isn't it? Yeah. Do they look better here than the they look, did at They the look front? so good. They look like they should be. C'est des gants. <laughs> Clement's never seen his father in a pair of gloves before. <laughs> Imagine what you'd do if you actually wore shoes. <laughs> yeah, he would be very distressed. Yeah, I think it really defines the whole uh, actually, start yeah. of the path. Yeah. And also it will mask the entrance to the sunken garden, to the, the exotic garden when you come the other way. And Can could you just move that one? Um, eventually, the <laughs> as they Your grow, face, John. <laughs> she what? <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't wait to make that joke. <laughs> and also, as they grow taller and yeah. less formal, the it will look like a, a dark uh, tunnel. So all those years I attempted path. topiary with them went to waste then. Uh, yeah, a little bit. You mean that one half hour I tried a couple of years ago? Yeah. <laughs> 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 what do you think, Dave? Oh, yeah, it's, it's good, isn't it? Yeah, I haven't introduced Dave, actually. No. They say you can't polish a turd, but in fact you can. <laughs> <laughs> Dave came to visit. Um, he's been here on. A, you've been visiting on and off for two years, two years now. So uh, seeing our program, he comes to check up on us every now and again, basically. Um, yeah, so we'll have to show you around the sunken garden. Yes, yeah, it's sunk. Well done, my Sheree. Do you like it? Well done, John. Oh, thank That's you, awesome. John. So you've made amazing progress with this, haven't you? It's moving forward. Um, I really, I really start to see, I mean, I, I sort of got your vision before, but it's really starting to actually feel like that. And, and I think strangely, the monkey puzzles are what have done, what's really made a difference. Yeah. Which was only a kind of last minute addition, wasn't it? It's more that the, it's the time of year to move all the trees. Yeah. And uh, we knew we didn't want them where they were. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it made sense to put them here. For now, so your idea really is that there'll be a an area that's a bit more open here with the pond. Is that right? Yeah. I hope the pond holds water. Yeah. I've uh, I've put some uh, some gel down the bottom that should help. Yeah. Um, we might need to put some bentonite clay. Yeah. Uh, at some point, because the I think it will uh, Im it might dry out in summer. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's. Uh, so, but in terms of the area, the, the sort of overall plan, this is going to be a bit more of an open area, and then you're going to walk into a tropical, foresty type yeah. feeling here. And then, what do you see this end part being? What the well, what I would love is to plant some uh, giant bamboos a bit oh, further yeah. down to make a windbreak. Oh yeah. And also, it would make it quite uh, lush and. Uh, yeah. And yeah, quite a nice, uh, nice tropical feeling, I think. Amazing. Um, here, I'm not completely sure uh, what, what to do, but I can see a, a big variety of plants. Yeah. I don't think we'll be able to, well, we, it won't be one of our priorities to rebuild this part of the wall. Right. So I think we could uh, instead landscape it as a rockery. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. So, but uh, yeah, we need to, I'm not completely sure about here. <laughs> I think we... Well, it'll evolve as the, as the bits. I mean, what I really see clearly is your vision here. I think that's amazing. Yeah, I think we'll... Uh, 
Il y a basically the way I see a garden is to keep uh, planting some cool plants. <laughs> and, uh, but it's nice yeah. to have a sort of structure, a kind of guide to how you feel it's going to be, isn't it? Yeah. In the beginning. But the, the whole point, to me, the whole point of a uh, tropical garden is the, to have a lush feeling yeah. that, we, that we don't have otherwise. So I'd like some, uh, some plants with uh, either evergreen leaves or mm. uh, big leaves, uh, quite uh, yeah. something that will make it uh, quite atmospheric. I do actually see what you mean about the fallen down walls, that even if we could rebuild them, it's quite, it makes it feel a bit like a 19th century Gothic ruin, doesn't yeah, it? Um, yeah. that, that it could feel like a, a ruin in the jungle type mm. atmosphere. Whereas if it was rebuilt perfectly the whole way along, it might look a bit wrong to yeah. have a, it look like well, it a would be terrace. not wrong, but it would be a different atmosphere. Yeah. Uh, I would like to I would like to yeah. rebuild it by yeah. the spring also so it doesn't collapse and even more. A bit more here. Maybe this yeah. uh, this bit here. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think the rest we can live with it and uh, landscape mm. it instead of. Uh... Super. Well, well done on seeing through your vision at this point. Thank you. Oh, well. It's a subtropical garden, but it's definitely not feeling very tropical today, is it? It will when it's <laughs> spring. <laughs>